Hi, my name is Paul Finley and I'd like to present my pitch for Dot Realm. Dot Realm is a unique twist on basic castle defense games in that it also adds in elements of real-time strategy. This keeps the game fast-paced and balances the player's freedom to expand and grow their resources. The main purpose of the game is to keep your realm alive as long as possible. To achieve this, grow your peasants by raising crops to feed them, gather wood to build weapons, and if you can find it, locate the iron field to boost your weapons. From a 3D three-quarter view, managing resources will be the first aspect of the game. Players will have fields located in front of the castle that will allow them to grow crops, and fields also located in front of the forest in order to cut down trees to create weapons. The field that represents iron will be a random element that will be in a different location each playthrough. This will encourage players to explore more fields in order to find it. Fields by default are barren and must be cultivated. To accomplish this, players will left-click on a field to start the process, and they are only allowed to cultivate one field at a time. When a field is clicked, a progress bar will appear below it. When the bar is filled, the field will change to the color of its resource and start producing. Each resource will be a time mechanic that will accumulate via progress bars located at the top of the screen. Individual fields will produce at a set speed, but players are allowed to choose to cultivate more fields to speed up production for each resource. The pace of the game will be controlled by the changing seasons. This will be a constant time mechanic and cannot be changed. This will give the game a sense of urgency, being the player will start in summer and will only have three seasons to prepare for confrontation. Springtime is the time for battle, and each attacking force will be random, ranging from a small army up to fighting giant dragons. Battle switch the game into castle defense mode. A pop-up screen shows the player the size and type of the enemy attacking, and they will have a slider bar to delegate how many peasants they want to fight. Having weapons built will increase damage output, and iron will up that as well. Players will only control how many peasants to send into battle, but each individual dot will have a random timer that triggers the melee me mechanic. This will be a simple flashing animation surrounding the dot and will have a set range that it can reach. Dots will also be programmed to migrate towards any remaining enemy until the army is destroyed. If the player wins, a victory screen lets them know how many peasants remain, and then they are placed back into the main population. If the player loses, the battle camera will follow any remaining enemies as they work their way towards the castle. Any field that is touched by the enemy unit will be destroyed and set to the default state. As the remaining troops get closer to the castle, they will be met with the last line of defense. Archers are in the towers but can only reach the first set of fields. Arrows will be programmed to strike the enemy that is closest to the castle and will have a set attack strength and speed. If any enemy unit makes it to the castle gate, they will start killing peasants inside. If they kill all the remaining peasants, the player loses. The randomness of the attacking enemies will always bring a sense of urgency. Players may have a few quiet years but could be decimated by one big force or dragon. The biggest risks for this project the scope and balancing of the two genres. The most time-consuming aspect will be the mechanics. Field cultivating, peasant and weapon growth, battle mechanics, and bug fixes will absorb the majority of our pace. Keeping the aesthetics and animation simple will help keep our focus in order to finish on time. Thank you for your time. Please let me know if you have any further questions. Created using Powtoon.